Okay, this will be a quick tutorial on how to do seventh chords. Up until now, we've been dealing with triads, which are chords with three notes. But they're not the only type of chords out there. In order to make chords sound richer, we add other notes or change things around. And so seventh chords come in different flavors as well. You can have major seventh or seventh, minor seventh, diminished seventh, and so on. So that's what we're going to outline quickly is how to do that. So as with any chord, I always suggest you go to the scale um, of that chord in order to find it. So we're going to use F major as a first example. F major has a B flat in its key signature, so we make sure we write that out. And here's that scale. Up until now, we've kind of stopped here. We've taken the first, the third, and the fifth note as, as our triad notes. However, um, to do a seventh, we can even add the seventh note on top. To form the F major triad, um, we've taken the one, three, and five, but we've added now a seventh note, and now that makes what you call a major seventh chord here. So if I were to write that down here, this is called the F major seven. It's called a major seven because we, we just chose the seventh note of the scale and, and added it in. We didn't change anything. It's all part of the major key signature of F major. So there are um, four different uh, uh, seventh chords that we're talking about here. The first kind is the major seventh. So that is basically just the major triad. Pardon me. Plus the seventh note. Um, and then the next type of seventh is the one that uh, isn't called a major seventh, it's just called a seventh chord. So what you do here is you still have a major triad, and this time you're going to add a lowered seventh. So what that means is you would lower that, that, that top note of semitone. So if I go back up here, and I circle this seventh note here, to lower that note, we have to think about what kind of note it is. Well, currently it's an E. It's an E natural. We know that because there's no sharp or flat on that E. Um, let me just make that E a little bit nicer here. We know that the E doesn't have a sharper flat in the key signature of F. And then to lower that E natural, we would put a flat right in front of it. And so that seventh is now lowered. I'm just going to delete that and continue on here. The minor seventh is a combination uh, of the seventh and a minor triad. So now instead of just having um, a minor triad, we're going to add this lowered seventh. And it's always starting with the major key signature in mind. Okay, so and lastly we have a diminished seventh chord. And what that is, is a diminished triad plus a, uh, a lowered seven. You lower the seventh twice. Let's see what that looks like on the next page. Okay, so now uh, we're going to try our hand at some examples here. So we've got C major. C major has no sharps or flats, right? We know that because it's the easiest key to remember. It has no sharps or flats. So the C major triad starts on a C. We skip a note. So it has a C, E, and a G. I'll even write these up here. The major seventh is adding just one note on top, and we don't change the note.
on top of that, now we have a C7. And if you were to look at the notes we just wrote down, C7 uses the C major triad, but it also has its seventh note that is lowered. Well, there was no sharps or flats, we said, so to lower this, we're just going to put a flat in front of that note. C minor. I'm going to write the C major triad first. And we know from other times that um, the C minor triad is found by lowering that middle note. And we take that seventh and we lower that as well. And that's our C minor seven. And lastly, C diminished seven. Start with the C major triad. To get it diminished, I lower the middle note and the top note. Put the seventh, and this time we lower it twice. And there's our C diminished seven. Please uh, excuse the um, handwriting as uh, sometimes um, my stylus isn't being recognized. Lastly, um, there's a B-flat major um, example here. So I'm going to write B and E-flat, because in B-flat we have two flats. And I'm going to start with my B-flat major triad. There it is. B flat major seventh is using the B flat major triad and then adding the seventh on top. But we said that we don't change that seventh, so there it is. We didn't change it. That's an A. A B flat seventh chord has the B flat major triad, but this time we lower the top note. It's an A, and A isn't part of one of our flats, so we know that. We have to put a flat in front of it to lower it. B flat minor. You start with the major triad. We lower the middle note. Then we add the seventh and lower that. B flat diminished. You start with the major triad. Lower the middle and the top of the triad. And then lower the seventh twice. So there you go. That's a quick seven or eight minute rundown on seventh chords.